Hi, my name is Advisor Mai Watt, and I'm here with the College Connection Center to tell you a little bit more about some college and career planning tools. So let's just take a look at those right now. You should be looking at agilities.org. So one of the first pages that comes up is talking to you about what agilities are. Agilities is just what the DeBruce Foundation defines as a set or collection of tasks that are common among jobs. So I believe that some of the agilities, I can see these right here, developing others, innovating, inspecting, judging and estimating, managing, operating objects, organizing, selling and communicating, serving and caring, working with information. Those are all 10 of the agilities. Now, these go into more specific subsets of um, career activities. For instance, um, serving and caring, that is pretty typical for our job as we are a nonprofit. Some of the things that we do are managing other people, working with students, stuff like that. So that's a little bit about agilities, but I believe that, that is most beneficial to younger students, those who may not know what their strengths or weaknesses is or are yet. So if you believe that you want to learn a little bit more about your own skills, we could explore agilities. But for now, I want to look at what I believe will be most beneficial to students who are, are about ready to go to college. So I'm going to go to the tools and resources tab. And we're going to look first at career explorer tools. And scroll down here. And we're going to look at two of these today. One is Occupation Explorer. The other is Education Explorer. So we're going to start with Occupation. So using agilities that we have previously talked about, they will show you, depending on your skills, what sort of jobs use different agilities. And again, by scrolling, hovering over, I can learn a little bit more about what these agilities mean. So if you're someone who does not yet know what you would like to do for work, this is a really good tool. So let's see, I'm going to briefly explore, let's say judging and estimating. So someone who has sound judgment, critical thinking, is good at evaluating and is very perceptive. That's someone who would have the judging and estimating agility. And these are all lists of jobs that would be defined as being a part of that agility or have many requirements of the job that would be defined as judging and estimating. So by looking at these jobs, I can hover over them. It'll tell me a little bit more about the description of their work. So for instance, these medical appliance technicians, they're constructing, fitting, maintaining, and repairing medical supportive devices. I can learn what the annual salary is of this. And what I believe is most important to what we are doing right now is learning about the education requirements. So in this case, if I looked at the medical appliance technician position and I said, that looks pretty interesting. What do I need to do to get this job? I can see that what I'm going to need is at least an associate's or two year degree. Now, the way that this site works is that any of these smaller fonts indicate a smaller salary. So you notice that the foundry mold and core makers have a $38,000 salary. And this is something that you can pursue with a high school degree. As we get into some of these larger ones, you're going to need a different um, degree and a little more education. So if I'm thinking that I would like to be an airline pilot, it's looking like I could make upwards of $186,000 a year, but I will need at least a bachelor's degree, possibly more. 
You can also see the forecasting. It looks like that this job is going to grow in the future. So that is good to know. And then I know now that if I wanted to be an airline pilot, I'm going to need to get at least a four-year degree. Similarly, we've got the anesthesiologist, which can make $271,000 a year and will require a doctoral degree. And this is something, again, you can click through any of these agilities, briefly highlighting what you do, whether or not you believe these are to your strengths. For organizing, you'll notice that there are far fewer options in this word cloud. So this is just a nice thing to explore if you are not sure what you want to do, or if you know what you want to do and you just don't know what sort of education you need. And another thing is if you don't see a career on here that is of interest to you, I always just encourage you to use Google. Google's free, Google's highly available. And if you were to ask a college advisor, how do I become XYZ? Insert any job that isn't already listed on here. If I don't know the answer off the top of my head, I'm going to Google it for you. So there's nothing wrong with simply Googling, how do I become whatever job? And then you can learn a little bit more about whatever education requirement is necessary. So now that we've looked at the Occupation Explorer, I wanna go back to Career Explorer Tools. And now we're gonna look at that Educator Explorer tab that I showed you before. So this is where we get to look a little bit more at what college I would like to go to to obtain that degree necessary for the job that I found. Now, let's say we were looking at, I believe it was a medical device technician. So they only need a two year degree. So I can look for a school that is offering an associate's degree because all I need is that two year. I don't need the bachelor's. Maybe I'll need a certificate, so I'll include that as well. But I don't need any graduate work. I won't need a doctorate or a master's. And then we get to get a little bit more into some of the details of this. Say, it's really important for me that I stay in the Midwest. I'm gonna say that I really wanna to go to the Midwest. Not so important that I stay Northeast, South or West. So I can get a little bit more specific, say I really wanna stay close to home because I live in Missouri. So this narrows that down a little bit more. I don't care so much if the program is a city-based or rural-based program. And Let's say that I can provide only $5,000 a year towards my education. Now I've got a very broad list, 205 institutions that are in the Midwest that will cost me anywhere between 5,000 and a little under $10,000 or less. And I know that I want to study some sort of engineering program, most likely. I'm just going, I'm gonna select any and all engineering programs. And now we've narrowed things down a lot more. 97 institutions. And let's say for now, I'm interested in the Midwest. I'm not opposed to traveling, but maybe I want to stay really close to home. There we go. This is an exceptionally manageable list. So here we go. Now I know everything that I'm looking for and this tool 
has found everything that I need. So this is where I get to do a little bit of research all on my own. I can look at any of these programs and let's say I'm not opposed to traveling anywhere in the state. Now I can look up, does MCC have a program that I think will be really beneficial to me? Do I think that Crowder College has one that will be very beneficial to me? Maybe Ozark Tech, maybe State Fair. This is a very manageable list. So essentially, if you are someone who knows what you want to do, you know the education that it's going to require, you just don't know where to start looking for colleges. This is a great way to narrow that down. Again, you saw once we started entering more values, we went from like 200 institutions to 11 institutions. And now I can look at all of these programs, apply to as many or as few as I would like, and I get a little bit more data on what these programs look like, the amount of people who are in it, the graduation size. And if there's something else that's really important to me that is not within the constraints of the Education Explorer tool, like I know I work with a lot of students who it's very important to them that they continue to um, play sports in college. Now, I'm not going to be able to find that here, but I can just as easily Google, does Ozark Tech or Ozark Tech have um, a tennis team? So you just go to another tab and you Google, does Ozark Tech have a tennis team? And that can help me narrow down whether or not I would like to go there. And again, as we saw before, it's not just associate's degrees. You see a lot of this has focused on the search that I just finished. So if I wanna start again, go back. But again, if I wanted to go back, do this again, say that I am interested in a bachelor's degree, we'll say anywhere in the country, and I like it only cost 10000 to 15000 a year. And in this case, let's say what's important to me is just that I go to a small school. And we go back, we know that we also looked at airline pilots. So let's say like aerospace engineering. You can see I only see one down there. Is there any other? aeronautical or aerospace related programs. I'll say it's only, there's almost certainly another program that is similar to that. As you can notice, this is a very extensive list. For now, we look at just that. And it's prompting me to go to West Virginia. West Virginia University Institute of Technology. It's a public institution, and apparently it offers that aerospace engineering degree that I'm looking at. So now things are exceptionally narrow. There's only the one school that has what I wanna pursue. So that could make me reconsider, is this really what I wanna do? Maybe I want to expand my search, look at a few different degree programs, or maybe it just means that I focus very, very intensely on trying to get into this school. I go, I learn a little bit more about the admissions requirements. I see if my test scores and my GPA are up to snuff. And then I just go all in, on West Virginia, and then I find like one or two other safety schools, but I say that this is my top choice. So yeah, if you are interested in looking at any of the tools that we have explored today, again, we just started by going to the agilities.org website, clicking on the tools and resources tab.
where did I? Oh, I went very specifically to the Career Explorer Tools tab. And there are many other tools that we did not look at today. But if you would like, I think this is a great resource for learning a little bit more about what jobs may be of interest to you as well as the education that it requires of you. So I hope that this has been beneficial and feel free to look into agilities.org. I hope that this benefits you. Thanks.